Welcome back. Time now, 923. Today, of course, Martin Luther King Jr. Mm -hmm. Day, a day to remember and honor the civil rights icon. And of course, we all know his I Had a Dream speech, but what a lot of people don't know is that he once spoke right here at Arizona State University. This is pretty interesting. So joining us this morning uh, on that speech is uh, Dr. King's legacy is Keith Miller. He is the a professor, rather, uh, of English, which I can't speak this morning, Professor, yeah. at the Arizona State University. Good morning, mm -hmm. sir. Thank you so much uh, for joining us this morning. You have written several books on Dr. King and his speeches. So let's start at the very beginning. How did we kind of find out that uh, Dr. King spoke at ASU? Well, people knew that for a long time, and there were photographs, but nobody had a recording or a transcript until Mary Scanlon a few years ago, went to uh, a Salvation Army and by out, uh, excuse me, a Goodwill store, and by accident, she ran into a, a reel-to-reel -reel tape recording of the speech. Uh, and nobody knew that the recording existed, and so ASU digitized it, and uh, I think now it's available. What, what a, a find! What a great discovery at the Salvation Army. It goes to show you, right? Uh, treasures are everywhere. Can you tell us a little bit about his speech, what he shared at ASU? Well, it's interesting because he's speaking a month before the 1964 Civil Rights Act was passed, and that act is the most important Civil Rights Act in American history. It's a landmark. It, it outlawed segregation. It outlawed discrimination in public accommodations in hotels, restaurants, libraries, golf courses. It also outlawed racial discrimination in employment. So he advocated for uh, the passage of that bill and he was very controversial at that time. People have forgotten how controversial he was. So uh, ASU and its president, Homer Durham, were very uh, courageous in asking him to come here because that bill was very controversial in Arizona and across the country. Hmm. It's kind of a different world back then. You kind of forget, yeah. don't you? Because it made such big, large strides as a nation. Uh, Professor, walk us through kind of, you know, obviously you've done a lot of research. You've written some books on Dr. King. What are some of the things that you think folks would find surprising about his life? Well, in his Nobel Prize speech, he's, he talks about what he calls the triple evils. He says the triple evils are poverty, racism, and war. And he says that they're interrelated and you have to deal with all of them at the same time. So he didn't like the idea of only uh, getting rid of racism by itself. He's trying to get people to organize to overcome poverty, racism, and violence. So... And that's why he was organizing the Poor People's Campaign in 1968. So, Professor Miller, can you give us a little bit of insight into your work in general at Arizona State University? I know you're an English teacher. You've written a lot of these books, as we've mentioned, on Martin Luther King Jr. And um, tell us about your work and what you love about it and, and the research that you do. Well, it's been a, it's been a very re rewarding pursuit. I've been to the King archives over and over. Um, and I like to teach uh, African-American speeches, including King. So, of course, so I've taught some uh, online courses with high school student, with high school teachers. And they're saying, well, we never heard of, of uh, Frederick Douglass and Fannie Lou Hamer. And uh, we never studied Martin Luther King in school in English. Oh, wow. So I try to say, well, his language is important. His language should be studied. And some of those teachers want to incorporate some of these speeches in their high school curriculum. Oh, that's awesome. Professor Keith Miller with Arizona State University. We appreciate your time this morning. And thank you for all of the great research that you've done and for sharing part of your day with us on this Monday. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Have a great Monday. Thank you. Wow, such insight that it really he has. Is cool, isn't it? Yeah. He's one of those bright minds, yep. and you're thinking, wow. Wish just, we had more time to just, talk to him. To sit with him, him right? over yeah. a cup of coffee would totally. be wild. All right, we'll be right back. Stay with us.